Hello nerds, we are in car... <laughs> Hello nerds, we are in car studio today for the supplemental. We didn't do uh, a supplemental last week because reasons. I've been kind of busy doing photo gigs and stuff. So I had to skip it. I, I just couldn't get to it. So this week I'm making it a point to get to it. I, that's why we're in car studios because I literally just left a, a shoot and now I'm going to get some food. So we're going to do the supplemental real quick. Let's hit up the intro. Quiet on the set. Rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. Yeah. You're listening to Generally Nerdy. Yeah, generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Okay, I don't know why it's so red. Uh, I, d I don't really have the time to fix it either, so my apologies. But it's a little red today, apparently, and it was having trouble finding the focus. For those of you new to the channel, the supplemental video is kind of the catch-all. Uh, I have a little bit of news, but I'm also updating you guys on other things going on on the channel uh, this time. It's gonna be a real quick video uh, update. I just got, I just shot Mushroom Head, which those pictures should be going up sometime this week. Also, just shot Black Pegasus, which is where I'm leaving right now. So those shots should be going up also this week. And I interviewed Stitch from Mushroom Head. You'll see that interview go up in about two weeks. And uh, I'm gonna have to be a little sneaky with the audio, but I should, it should come out pretty good. Uh, it was a great interview. We were talking for about an hour and a half. So, awesome, awesome news for the channel. Thank you guys uh, for watching all of the things and it's just gonna keep getting better. Let's throw it over real quick to the sponsor because I forgot to do that. Before we get into the news, guys, we have to get into the sponsor. All of this week's episodes are going to be sponsored by Patreon.com slash Generally Nerdy. That is the Patreon page where you can go support the channel. Uh, it's broken down. There's four different tiers. $1 tier, $2 tier, $5, and $10. And even just the $1 tier, which is just the early access to all the videos and the complete uh, instructions on the Renaissance Nerd videos, even just that tier, which... I feel like that's worth a buck a month, right? It, you, because that's full instructions for Renaissance Nerd. That's not just the ingredients list like you get on the free version of those videos. Uh, so check it out, patreon.com slash generally nerdy. Link is right here on the screen. And now let's jump into some news. All right, so news. Uh, in case you haven't heard yet, there is a new thing going on. Alert, alert! Check our new policies because our new privacy our privacy policy has changed. You've gotten a million emails, you've seen it all over, but what is it? It is the European Union's General Data Protection Regulation. It went into effect this week. It actually, technically, the law passed two years ago. But it just now is, this is the deadline. This week, this last week was the deadline for companies to be in compliance. Um, basically, it's an opt-in. You have to opt in to things that are going to give your data out instead of opting out of those things like you used to do on the Facebooks and things. It affects basically any company who does business in Europe. So pretty much every company. And it's, I mean, it's a good thing as far as general safety is is concerned but i really feel like it might be too little too late at this point basically if you go online you should anticipate that whatever you do is going to be used to market for towards you like that should just be a known quantity at this point um next the other bit of actual news that we have has to do with ai which we talk about a lot um uh, if you don't know what Sophia is, there is a link in the description to a video kind of explaining Sophia. But there is a robot named Sophia who now has uh, citizenship in Saudi Arabia, I believe. Um, she is an intelligent robot. 
Uh, she has an AI that is, I, I haven't seen her in action aside from videos where you can't hear what she's saying. Uh, I will try and find some more of those if I can before this posts. Those links will be in the description as well. Uh, just, so the, the actual bit of news, because Sophia is kind of old news. The actual bit of news is her creator, a guy named David Hansen, is predicting that in sometime in the next 30 years, intelligent machines, so things that operate using AI, artificial intelligence, are going to have civil rights in the next 30 years. I don't think, even though we have stupid sex bots that can feed you one-liners and are clever, whatever the hell that means, even though we have stuff like that, I, and we have learning uh, artificial intelligence in video games, kind of, and we have uh, smart cars and things like that on the cusp, I think 30 years is a little too soon. I honestly feel like, and this is, this is just me shooting uh, uh, from the hip, I honestly feel like at the current rate we're going, 50 years is probably the earliest we're going to start seeing actual self-aware intelligence that was man-made. Um, so it's going to happen. Like, I honestly feel like androids and things will exist. Uh, I just feel like it's not going to be inside my lifetime. Uh, and my phone is blown up, which means I'm late getting dinner, so that's where we're going to end this week's episode, guys. What did I miss all over this nerddom? Let me know in the comments down below. If, though, you want to continue this conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net, jump over to the Patreon to support the channel a little more directly, patreon.com slash generallynerdy. All of the wonderful things, guys. I have a Deadpool review to get to now, so thank you for watching. If you're falling behind in your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap the box right over there to uh, catch up on all of your nerd news. But before we go, guys, always, always remember, if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.